So hi, I'm going to present about what is a broken line graph. So a broken line graph is a variation of a line graph. It is one way to show the relationship between two variables. And this type of line graph is used when it is necessary to show change over time. And it plots specific points and connect these points with lines. So a line is used to join the values, but the line has no defined slope. However, the points are meaningful and they uh, represent an important part of the graph. And this um, broken line graph consists of a horizontal x-axis and a vertical y-axis. Um, the uses of the broken line graph will be explained next and the interpretation of it will be explained further in this video. Thank you. So what is it used for? So since it helps us to depict the changes in the quantitative values over a specified time interval, it is used across many fields, especially when we are presenting that shows change over a time, like for example, the stocks in business, the population, the status of the economy, the number of affected people, and etc. Also, this graph makes us interpret the data easier as it summarizes the data we have collected. All right, so let's talk about creating the scale. What is scale, by the way? In math, a scale in graphs can be defined as the system of marks at fixed intervals, which defined the relation between the units being used and the representation in the graph. Here on the right side of our presentation, we can see a scale on the measuring jug. Each small interval or division measure 100 ml. Variables. What is variables? So we have two types of variables here in our presentation. This includes independent variables and dependent variables. Independent variables are the ones that are tested to see if they are the cause. This is also um, goes on the x-axis while dependent variables are the properties that change when the independent variable also change. This goes on the y-axis. For example, uh, on the presentation or on our screen, you want to find out if you can use a person's height to determine an arm span. You collect a sample of people and measure their height, the, which is our independent variable. You also measure their arm span, which is the dependent variable. We came up with, you know, a question, is a change in the independent variable related to a change in dependent variable? To answer this question, you plot a graph with independent variable along the x-axis, since, you know, that's the independent, independent variable goes. Also, you plot the dependent variable along the y-axis. So your graph might look like this, as you can see on the screen. You can draw a best fit line through the points this indicate that the dependent variable, which is the arm span, depend on the person's height. That's the conclusion for the variable. Thank you. So this is the overall process in creating the graph. So there are at least five easy steps in creating the broken line graph. First one is creating your x-axis and y-axis. Second, labeling each axis and placing the title. Third one, writing the scale that shows your intervals. The fourth, plotting the data using points. And finally, connecting the points. So let's go to creating the x-axis and y-axis. So this is important. First, we must consider one thing, which is we must know where to place y-axis and the x-axis. So take note that y-axis always goes on the vertical line, while x-axis always goes on the horizontal line. So y-axis contains the dependent variables. Meanwhile, x-axis contains independent variables. Label each axis and placing in the title. So, in doing such, we should identify which variable the x-axis and y-axis represents. So, for y-axis, as shown in my example before, presented the dependent variables, which was the different temperatures. Now, we can label it by putting a title, degrees in Fahrenheit. So, for the x-axis, which contained the independent variables which was the days we also need to put a label which is the day after writing the scale that shows the interval would be to add the data but which data do we add and how do we add the data 
So the data that we'll be adding would be the data that we have collected and have put in the table. So in the table right here on the left, we have the day and its corresponding temperature. Then how do we add the data? We can add the data by putting the points on the graph, much like how we find the coordinates in a Cartesian plane. So first off on the x-axis, we have day one. Then we find the y-axis, which is the temperature on 43 degrees Fahrenheit. So 43 degrees would be in between 40 and 60 interval, but much more closer to 40, since 43 is closer to 40. Then we follow that with day two, 53. Day three, 50. Day four, 57 day 559 and day 667. After adding the data into the graph or adding the points into the graph, we connect them all with a line segment. But you can see here that it's not actually a line, a straight line, but more of a broken line, hence the name broken line graph. Good morning, everyone. I will be talking about the interpretation or interpreting the graph. So how do we interpret a broken line graph. In interpreting a broken line graph, we are giving sense meaning to a given data by studying and analyzing it. So I have an example over here. I have an example of a broken line graph. So it is written in the title, Temperatures in New York City. And over here, we have a tabulated data for six days the temperature in new york city was recorded going back to the graph we can interpret or conclude that on the sixth day the highest temperature was recorded this one 67 degrees fahrenheit and on the first day the lowest temperature was recorded 43 degrees fahrenheit for the trend of the data we cannot say that when one variable increases the other also increases why because on the third day of the data the temperature has decreased from from the second day from 53 degrees fahrenheit it went down to 50 degrees fahrenheit we can say that a broken line graph is really useful for showing data and trends for examples and more explanation is a song the group have created Three, two, one. How do you make a line graph? How do you make a line graph? How do you make In your data, then you can easily make a graph of your row and then interpret the graph you have created. It's just some data, but see me power an entire infantry. Here are a couple steps in creating one. Create the two axes, label and write the scale. You plot and then connect. That's how you make one.